please read through the anti-tip bracket instructions or watch this video in its entirety before attempting installation and be sure to pause the video when necessary. Make sure you have the following contents and equipment required before attempting installation. For regular walls, use a stud finder to find a stud in the wall behind the dryer somewhere near the center of the dryer that is no more than 12 inches above the floor. You can also use the 2x4 that should be located just above the floor if you are unable to locate a stud. Choose and mark a location so that the gas line, power cord, and exhaust duct will not interfere with the anti-tip cord. Drilling a 1 8 inch pilot hole in the stud or 2x4 will make it easier to drive in the screw. If you can't find a stud or 2x4, drill a 3 16th hole in the drywall and insert the expansion anchor into the hole. For concrete walls, if the wall is concrete, you'll need to use a 3 16th inch masonry bit to drill a 1 3 4th inch deep hole in the concrete. Then insert the expansion anchor into the hole. Mounting the bracket, pick up the loop end of the cord and insert it into a bracket. Then mount the bracket to the wall with the loop facing up. Use the screw and mount the bracket to the wall. Pick up the slider end of the cord and pull out an inch of loop at the knotted end of the slide lock and insert the loop into the bracket. Caution, do not use the other loop or the slide lock may not function correctly. On the back of the dryer, remove the screw to the left of the center near the top of the back panel. Mount the bracket with the loop facing down. Slide the dryer into position and move the slide lock down the cord until there is a few inches of slack. Too tight can result in excess noise and vibration. If the cord is not long enough, you may need to relocate the wall anchor to a higher position on the wall, but no more than 12 inches above the floor.